Yesterday morning, I took a graveside funeral for one of our parishioners. Just as Monsignor Tony was remembering her soul at Mass at the same time here. We cannot take funerals in a church as yet, and we were fortunate that it was such a glorious day. I had personally known the deceased for some 20 years, and I pondered on the opening words of the funeral service. We believe that all the ties of friendship and affection which knit us as one throughout our lives do not unravel with death. While we know that earthly marriages until death us do part, we also feel that a bond must carry over through death. But then we have the words of Jesus today explaining there's no need for such attractions of this life in the next. He says that those Sadducees seeking to confound the resurrection do not understand the meaning of the resurrected life. So how do we reconcile this apparent contradiction? The next part of our lives beyond death is different. Although body and soul are reunited in some form, it is a mystery which transcends this world. As St Paul says, we now see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. It doesn't mean that because we cannot see all that clearly now, that it doesn't exist. Take the time when in the street a car passes you and you see a hand waving from the car and you can't think who it was as you wave back. You cannot see through into the dark car, but they can see you very clearly in the daylight. And yet they and you both exist. Maybe our earthly relationship will exist in some form but be greatly outshone by the great relationship between us and God. In his light, we will have a completely different perspective. Relationships in love in this life must be greatly valued in heaven, as Jesus has preeminently taught us to love God first and our neighbour next. God, we know from St John, is love itself. So through death, we enter into an even greater relationship of love with our Creator and with each other. Understanding the depth of his love enables some to give up their lives in this love. Charles Luanga and his companions maybe saw and experienced this love and could see beyond this life and its cruelty into the heart of God. Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O grave, where is your sting? God gives us that victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The victory of love shown on the cross can also be ours with faith, the faith of the martyrs. 